of your week, wisdom for a lifetime. When we hear about the violence and terror in the land of Israel, most of us feel impotent. How can we help? What can we do to help the situation? The truth is there is so much that we can do. The problem is we do not understand the nature of our own power. The Talmud tells it to us clearly. It says, al shlosha devarim ha'olam omed. That means the world stands on three legs, on three pillars, just like a table stands on three legs. If you remove one leg, the table is wobbly, so too the Jewish people. When we stand on three legs, we are secure, we are stable, we can help the Jewish people. What are these pillars? Pillar number one, Torah. For over 3,000 years, the Jewish people have not only survived, we have thrived. We've gone through pogroms, annihilations, devastations, genocide, holocaust, assimilation. And yet we've not only survived, we have thrived. The key to our success and our continued survival as a people is Torah. Everywhere Torah abounds. It does not matter what your level of observance is. There are weekly newsletters, there's videos and articles, there are Torah classes. It's your responsibility in your own life to start learning Torah. Pillar number two, avoda. That means prayer. So many of us, we have a very immature understanding of what prayer is. It seems more like a shopping list, like, um, all right, God, I'd like wealth and health and maybe throw in a husband while you're at it. And could they come sometime like late this afternoon? And when we don't get it, we feel dejected, ignored, God isn't there. We need to deepen our understanding of what prayer really is. The number one key to prayer is sincerity. Mean what you say. Cultivate within yourself true empathy for what it means to be a soldier or a resident in, in Israel. Feel the pain, and then speak to God from your heart. God, protect the Jewish people. Give the government wisdom so they make the right decisions. Help the residents. Protect the soldiers. Speak from your heart. You can be sure that when someone prays sincerely, the gates of heaven are never closed. All sincere prayers are accepted. Pillar number three. Gimilut chasadim. That means acts of loving kindness, and they begin with the obvious give tzedakah. Find a reputable Jewish organization and give tzedakah amply, as much as you possibly can. They need it. But acts of loving kindness are deeper too. They really, it really comes down to unity. When the Jewish people are unified, nothing can stop us. Our greatest weapon against our enemies is unity. And it begins with your, in, within your own home. Just look around. Is there somebody I need to ask forgiveness to? Is there someone I need to grant forgiveness? Is there someone I could acknowledge them, praise them, share with them their virtues? Whom do I need to accept despite the differences I feel? Hold back all the negative speech about groups of people or organizations or schools or whatever it is. Unity is the key to our strength. We can do so much to help our brothers and sisters in Israel. When our behavior rests on three pillars, Torah, prayer, and acts of loving kindness, we can be true agents of change. And the time to begin is now. Mm -hmm.